The information paradox in biology challenges our understanding of how life encodes and processes vast amounts of information within the seemingly limited storage of the genome. How can something as small as a DNA molecule hold the instructions for building and operating a complex organism, from a bacterium to a human? The human genome, for example, contains about 3 billion base pairs, but the number of different proteins, cell types, and interactions it supports is exponentially greater. Where does all this additional information come from? One answer lies in epigenetics, where chemical modifications on DNA influence gene expression without altering the sequence itself. Another key mechanism is alternative splicing, allowing a single gene to produce multiple different proteins, vastly increasing biological complexity. Then there's the role of non-coding RNA regulatory networks and environmental interactions, which modify how genetic instructions are interpreted. A great analogy is computer programming. Just like a compact piece of code can generate complex behaviors through loops, conditions, and interactions, biological systems use regulatory feedback and dynamic networks to amplify genetic information. Does this mean that life's complexity is not solely in the DNA itself? but in how information is processed and utilized. This paradox pushes scientists to explore whether biology operates with principles akin to quantum computing, holographic storage, or even self-organized criticality, revealing that living systems may encode and process information far more efficiently than any human-made system. Could this help us design smarter AI, better data storage, or even uncover deeper laws of nature? The genome, composed of DNA sequences, stores vast amounts of biological information using only four nucleotide bases, A, T, G, and C, making it an extraordinarily compact and efficient coding system. Through mechanisms such as overlapping genes, alternative splicing, and post-transcriptional modifications, the same DNA sequence can encode multiple functional outputs. This compression of genetic information allows a relatively small genome to generate the immense diversity of proteins and regulatory elements needed for complex life. The human genome contains approximately 200 00 protein coding genes, yet alternative splicing enables the production of over 1000000 distinct proteins from these genes. It's like a zip file of Though stored in a compact format, it expands into a highly detailed and functional system upon execution. In addition to the genetic code, organisms store regulatory information through epigenetic modifications such as DNA methylation and histone modifications. These chemical tags control gene expression without altering the underlying DNA sequence, enabling cells with identical genomes to differentiate into diverse tissue types. Epigenetic patterns can be influenced by environmental factors and inherited across generations, adding another layer of complexity to biological information storage. Identical twins have the same DNA but can exhibit differences in traits and disease susceptibility due to epigenetic variations shaped by their environments. It's like a book with invisible ink. While the printed text remains the same, Different messages become visible under specific conditions. The majority of the human genome does not code for proteins, yet non-coding RNAs and cRNAs play crucial roles in regulating gene expression, cellular communication, and genome stability. Small interfering RNAs, siRNAs, microRNAs, and long non-coding RNAs, LNCRNAs, act as molecular switches, fine-tuning gene activity at multiple levels. This regulatory complexity allows biological systems to maximize information output without increasing genome size. MicroRNAs can regulate hundreds of target genes by binding to messenger RNAs, mRNAs, and preventing their translation enabling sophisticated control over cellular functions. It's like a single conductor managing an entire orchestra. Small interventions at key points create harmony across multiple components. 
Biological systems exhibit self-organization where simple molecular interactions give rise to highly structured and functional networks. Protein folding, cellular differentiation, and neural patterning emerge from local biochemical rules rather than requiring direct encoding of every detail. This distributed processing mechanism allows living organisms to generate complexity far beyond what is explicitly written in the genome. The brain's neural connections are not entirely hardwired by DNA. Rather, synaptic plasticity and environmental inputs shape neural networks dynamically. It's like a city growing organically. Basic infrastructure is planned, but the final layout emerges through interactions among its inhabitants. Biological systems employ intricate feedback loops to regulate development, homeostasis, and adaptation. Positive feedback amplifies signals, while negative feedback stabilizes processes, enabling precise control over physiological functions. These regulatory circuits allow organisms to respond dynamically to internal and external changes without needing a vast, predefined genetic instruction set. The LAC operon in bacteria controls lactose metabolism by switching genes on or off depending on nutrient availability, optimizing resource use. It's like a thermostat, constantly monitoring conditions and adjusting output to maintain stability. Genetic redundancy, where multiple genes perform similar functions, provides resilience against mutations and environmental stress. This built-in robustness allows organisms to tolerate genetic variation while maintaining essential functions. Redundant pathways also enable evolutionary experimentation, where duplicated genes can acquire new functions over time. The P53 tumor suppressor network includes multiple backup mechanisms to prevent cancer cell growth, ensuring redundancy in cellular stress responses. It's like having multiple safety nets. If one fails, others ensure continued stability. Some biological processes, such as photosynthesis, enzyme catalysis, and neural signaling, may exploit quantum effects like superposition and tunneling. If life harnesses quantum information processing, this could provide a novel mechanism for encoding and transmitting biological complexity beyond classical digital storage constraints. Quantum coherence in biomolecules might enable ultra-effort energy transfer and decision-making at molecular scales. The efficiency of photosynthesis surpasses classical models of energy transport, suggesting a role for quantum coherence in optimizing light capture. It's like using quantum computing instead of traditional computing. Leveraging probabilistic states to perform highly efficient computations. Evolution acts as a decentralized algorithm that continuously refines genetic information through natural selection, mutation, and recombination. This iterative process enables life to adapt to changing environments without requiring an external designer. Evolutionary computation has inspired artificial intelligence models, demonstrating how complex problem solving emerges from simple, repeated selection mechanisms. The immune system evolves in real time, generating diverse antibodies to combat new pathogens through somatic hypermutation and clonal selection. It's like machine learning. By constantly testing and refining, the system optimizes its performance over generations. Despite advances in understanding genome complexity, fundamental questions remain about the limits of biological information storage and processing. Theoretical models suggest that living systems might utilize principles from information theory, thermodynamics, and complexity science to maximize functional efficiency. Future research into artificial life, synthetic biology, and AI-driven bioinformatics may uncover deeper insights into the nature of biological computation. DNA computing, where biological molecules perform computational tasks, demonstrates that life itself may encode information in ways beyond traditional digital storage. It's like discovering that nature has been using an advanced programming language all along, far more efficient than we ever realized.